a man who drove his pickup truck into a crowd of peaceful protesters in Richmond, Virginia over the weekend as an admitted leader of the Ku Klux Klan, according to prosecutors. Henrico County Police identified the man as 36-year-old Harry H. Rogers of Virginia. Rogers has been charged with assault, battery, attempted malicious wounding and felony vandalism in the Sunday night incident. Henrico Commonwealth Attorney Shannon Taylor said in a tweet that a cursory glance at Rogers' social media and his own admissions to authorities revealed that he was a leader of the white supremacist group. Harry Rogers appeared in Henrico Court Monday morning where he agreed to receive a court-appointed attorney, according to CBS 6 News. A Henrico judge denied Rogers' bond during Monday's hearing. According to witnesses, Rogers drove down a median before revving his engine and driving into the protesters. A person who was wounded in the incident doesn't appear to have serious injuries, said Taylor. Protesters acting peaceably, well within their constitutional rights of assembly, should not have to fear violence, added Taylor. We lived through this in Virginia in Charlottesville in 2017. I promise Henry Cohen's that this egregious criminal act will not go unpunished. Hate has no place here under my watch. More, George Floyd changed the world. Public viewing in Houston honors the man behind the social justice movement. In 2017, James Alex Fields Jr. deliberately drove into a crowd of people peacefully protesting a Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, killing one and injuring 19. Fields was sentenced to life in prison for federal hate crime charges last year. According to interviews with witnesses by CBS 6 News, protesters urged the driver to stop. One witness said that Rogers was already parked and waiting at the scene where protesters planned to march. George Floyd updates, Biden opposes defunding police, Derek Chauvin's bail up to $1.25 million, mourners pay res. The incident comes in the midst of widespread protests against police brutality which started when police officers killed George Floyd on May 25. Four police officers have been charged in his death. As President Trump identifies Antifa as responsible for much of the protest-related violence, there is scant evidence, according to the Associated Press. Rogers is due back in court in August.